Hello, Boxer friends! Today we will talk about non-standard defenses and about non-standard punches in boxing. So please understand boxing correctly. This is a very interesting and very old sport that is being modernized every year. Something is being excluded, something is being supplemented. So watch and use it. One of the most very effective combat systems, especially at medium distance, is protection and the ability to control hands. There is such protection with hands. There is with forearms, from the outside, from the inside. So punches would fought off in different ways, in certain angles and so on and so on. Unfortunately, partly this school has been forgotten. There was a great genius Romanov, who generally stood for these blocks. Double blocks, proper defense, and one of these moments is work with so-called hammers. For example, you make a punch. In other words, you have to do such a knocking down so that you could instantly answer right away. There are certain exercises with pneumo back when you are already working with a hammer punch. Because when it happens quickly, for example, move your hand here. You see, the movement is coming, and you are already hitting here, and it turns out that you knock down and you hit, knock down and you hit. Without this trained punch, you won't have this powerful, powerful bunch. So defense with your hands involves punches of a special form. This is one of the moments, it relates both to punches and to defense. It also hasn't been fully understood in the Soviet Union. This is a strategy. Here you make punch, and here you do the first knocking down. Then the second punch. For example, you go here, under the control of this hand, then the third punch. You bring out again. You see? You defend. Next punch. Everything can be done with one hand. Next punch. Look, you see? I already went to the elbow. That is, I threw off my hand. And again, I have an advantageous position for the punch. And also when, for example, Defense with hands is generally one of such key moments. There are moments when you move hand like this. Make a second punch. You see? You have less movement. One more punch. For example, as an option. Another punch. Right away. One of the options here. You see? If it goes to the head, then you circle it. The same knocking down only from the other side. Make a punch. Boom. Knock down. And the same knock down from the other side. Make a punch. Boom. You are underhand. So you have cleared the way here and you can work from here now with the second hand. So you are in better position now. For example, if I always will do it on a distance, then there will be no fight. But here, defense with your hands. It suggests this meaning that you don't leave from your striking distance. Make a punch. You can move forward from here, as if under a shield, defending yourself and again for the advantageous position of building your attack move. Also, you can bring down the hand. Here is one of the moments, so you will go down. Here you have a configuration and you are already under protection here. And you can roll and you can roll also here. That's why we have to bring back the hand protection in boxing, but it's partly forgotten. Many guys say that, oh, it's karate, vinchun. But where karate and vinchun took all this? Karate is like a new thing. It's all boxing. For example, Bruce Lee's one-inch punch. Where he took it? One of his close friends was Muhammad Ali. Is Bruce Lee came up with punch from the hip? No, nothing like this. It was before Bruce Lee. It was used by the Roman army, probably. My coach liked to say that this move already was in the ancient Egypt. This move is obvious. Why Bruce Lee is credited with it? Because he promoted it. That there's unrealistically big amount of power and energy. Here's the defense with the hands, for example. Karate fighters didn't invent it. It was taken from Dutch sailors. They had punching moves based on short lines. 
Some say that Vinchun was made by a woman. I think that she just saw and took it from the sailors, and that's all. After which they just changed it for themselves, improved it, something was removed, something added, but the bases of boxes are still there, with the short punch, medium punch, long punch. Why long punch is in boxing? To disperse inertia. An average punch, a burning punch, a blocking punch, and a short punch, as a rule a killing punch, which is very powerful. A lot of inertia, a lot of this very technical base, which works very, very effectively. And therefore, in boxing there are a lot of such hidden punches that only boxers know about. And each boxer has some kind of curve punch that is 100% unreadable. And you can't prepare for these punches. If the boxer doesn't have such punches, his arsenal is just poor. For example, one of your hidden punches. I will explain. For example, here I make a punch from the side. How they taught me. In a short way. But as a professional, I started to hit differently. Because it doesn't go through already. I began to hit here. It's like, I show this punch, like this, a couple of times. After which I go with deep punch behind the hand. Now, look at this. It's the twisted fist. In other words, if we put it like this, he will not pass. But when it twisted, it comes in. Yes, it goes clearly behind the arm, from the left and right side. It's really hard to defend yourself from this kind of punch. Yeah, like this one. One of my favorite ones is when, for example, I start attacking like this and I go up to this line. Then I start a move from this side under this hand with such a cutting punch. It may be not very watchable, but it is very effective. It looks like Vinchun. Yes, and it's by passes. It's such a passing punch. So you do not expect this punch. You just don't expect it. Because everybody get used to all these standards here. And they are already blurring them. But here, boom, I came here. From here, I immediately went here. Then I cut it. I changed position. Everything is done on short lines. All the more. I'll repeat once again. All this Vinchun and so on and so on. It all originally came from somewhere. And originally, the most effective sport with scientific base is boxing. 100%. It's boxing. In boxing there's close fight, medium fight and fight from the far. Everything that relates to this, all types of modification, punches and so on and so on. It's all going into a drawing of a fighter. And if fighter knows more strategies, well, let's just say the types of it. For example, one time my coach was saying, look at how these ones work and look at how these work. Here is the level of the Soviet Union. Why was it so high? Because there were a lot of schools throughout the Soviet Union. And the only place where they could train all this was on training camps. Different boxers from all over the Soviet Union came to the training camp and they started to learn and to gain an experience. Of course, in the Far East, when the influence of karate there or something else there, of course, they focused on short lines, on defense with their hands, maybe more on twisting the body somewhere. If, for example, you take Siberia, yes, there are powerful guys with strong legs who are skiing and so on and so on. Of course, he will outwork you. In other words, it's such a strategy. If you take Central Asia, or boys from the Caucasus, where wrestling is very developed, their close and medium fighting skills is very good, and they tore everyone. And in general, the beauty of the school of the Soviet Union, this is a variety of styles. Another moment, people say that classic Soviet boxing school, and so on and so on, but in fact, this is an achievement of world boxing. It's not something that the Soviet experts came up with. They just considered it. They argued, they searched, they deduced, they classified the system in order to introduce it to the masses. Once again I say, our grandfathers, who survived the war, the task was to prepare a healthy generation, a strong generation. And therefore, all programs and pumps 
and all of these different types of sport, they had a dual purpose. So, once again I say, this is the development of all these combat innovations. This was a very serious program of the government strategy for the whole country. Some people watch and say, this is not boxing. Okay, but do you even know what boxing is? Boxing is just a fist fight, if we say it straight. It's good that there are rules in it, because if you remove the rules from the boxing, it will be like a street fight. What is the main thing in boxing, and why boxing is called like this? Because there is tactics and strategy in it. This is the ability to make a proper fight. So if you need to know different types of punches for proper fighting skills, then this is what you need to collect, but not like how they make it with karate. Yeah, karate, of course. Where did it come from? from boxing. That's it. So guys, keep it simple, go to the straight way, and there you will have it. Boxing is a sport of art. Yes, this is how it all started and how it will end.